tell us a little bit about what brought you to Terre Haute, Indiana today? Yeah. You know, uh, since I changed jobs a few years ago, I, I haven't done many things that look backward. I felt that was someone else's responsibility now. But this is very special. Um, among the things that uh, uh, were the most important, I thought, uh, not only uh, in, uh, to the, in the job we were doing, but for their long time, maybe I hope permanent importance, was conservation. And the biggest single project uh, in a record-breaking eight years was um, the uh, Wabash Corridor, uh, the one that Riverscape helped us uh, put together. So I was really uh, uh, pleased when somebody said, come by and share today's celebration, and wouldn't have missed it. 10 years is quite the milestone. What yeah. have you? Uh, what are some of the highlights over this ten-year project? Yeah. Well, ultimately, this will be uh, the not only the biggest project in Indiana state history by a factor of, of two or three, uh, but uh, the, uh, the biggest, I think, continuous protected wetlands in the eastern United States. Mm -hmm. And over these ten years, they're well over halfway there. And so it's been a great cooperative project. Um, the state, but also the conservation groups, our good friends of the Conservancy and Ducks Unlimited, mm -hmm. federal government, Fish and Wildlife, and um, so uh, it's just been a joy every once in a while to call somebody and say how many acres now and what new features, but uh, this, uh, the people of Riverscape should be so proud uh, not only of this project but of the example they set for conservation all over the state. This last 15 years has been a record, broken every record in Indiana for uh, protection of our natural heritage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is certainly going to be something that future generations um, can benefit from. Yeah. What, what excites you about that? Uh, well, again, uh, there's a sense of permanence. Uh, we always try to do big things uh, during our public service, but I recognize if you're realistic, some of them uh, may not last. The state can go broke again. A great business climate could go bad. Uh, somebody could repeal some of the reforms, but there are certain things that will last. Uh, the 641 bypass and all the other infrastructure that we built is a good example. But the conservation of our of our precious natural spaces, nobody's going to undo this. And so that's, I think, one thing that that sets it apart. This is one thing that I know with confidence that my grandchildren and everybody else's uh, will be able to enjoy. And where did your passion for conservation come from? What made uh, that, a, why did you make it a big part of your governorship yeah. to tackle that? Well, I'd say I've always appreciated, I hope I've always appreciated our natural uh, beauty and the need to conserve it. Um, uh, we had a, uh, I had seen as a candidate, not far from here, the people who had been working literally for a half a century to try to create Goose Pond. And so I put that down on the list. If we get there, we'll see what we can do. And uh, we did it. And at the time, 9,000 acres, it was the biggest project by far in Indiana history. And it worked. Everything they predicted in terms of the attraction of new species and uh, the proliferation of waterfowl and the, and the uh, attractiveness to tourists, it all worked. And so, you know, we, I said, okay, uh, that's the kind of thing we like to do. What else you got? And the folks at the DNR and our partners came in and said, there are these people at Terre Haute who have already done a lot of great things, and we have a plan to uh, extend that in both directions and create something really very, very special. And so it appealed not only to our sense of, of uh, responsibility and stewardship for our natural resources, but to our desire to do, do big things. You know, I... Uh, we never wanted to play small ball, and uh, this was a, a terrific chance. Um, it's uh, it's five goose ponds, more or less, and uh, so I, I confess that doing doing something at that scale was was another real attraction. Where would you ultimately like to see this project be in, in ten years from now? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I love to tell people where I work now, up around Lafayette, that. Uh, uh, before uh, that lo much longer, you'll be able to put a canoe here in Sugar Creek and travel to south of Terre Haute and never leave a protected wetlands. And there's no other stretch like that, I think 110 miles, maybe more, uh, anywhere in the eastern United States. And 
That'd be a great emblem. I think it would attract people. I know the Riverscape folks have always had that as part of their vision, attracting more tourists and maybe, uh, who knows, business to such a wonderful asset. And uh, that's what I would love to see and that's what I expect to see. You mentioned the number of agencies that are involved in this, and it certainly takes a team um, to do this yeah. type of work. How can the public get involved and help with this initiative? Yeah. One thing I really love, in addition to all the obvious reasons that we want to conserve and protect our heritage, uh, it almost always has to be cooperative, public, private, and, and multiple actors to make any big project work. And there's, there's an inherent value in that. You know, in our society today, people are at each other way too much, and there aren't enough times when people do come together around some common purpose and put any other differences aside, so I really like that. You know, in, in uh, our last year uh, of the last job, uh, we created the Bicentennial Trust, decided the single best way to celebrate, four years later, mm -hmm. the Indiana's 200th birthday, was to do something statewide in conservation. And I believe me, it was lessons I learned at Riverscape that were part of that thinking. And um, the idea was to uh, spread the uh, enthusiasm that uh, is so obvious here to every county in Indiana. And, and uh, I think that, because once people have been part of something like that, whether it's at a little bitty scale or something as grand as, as this, they're gonna wanna do some more. And um, I'm pretty sure that uh, will be the the result of the uh, of the bicentennial uh, trust idea